I want to show you how to save your work in Excel. Really important and a good idea to save regularly so that you don't lose anything. You can use the shortcut keys on the keyboard by pressing Control S on the Windows version or Command S on the Mac. If it's the first time you've saved it, you will get a dialog box to save it. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. You also have the Save button here up in the Quick Access toolbar. You can click on that and it does the save. And if you float the mouse over it, it shows you the shortcut there as well. If I go to File, you can just click on Save here and that does the same thing. If I go to File and want to give it a different name, I click Save As. And when you do that, the other thing that comes up is that you've got a dialog box to save things in. Now, if you haven't saved it before and you saved it any other way, whether it's with a shortcut keyboard or save or the save on that quick access toolbar, it will take you to this dialog box because the first time you do need to enter a name. And I could just type this one here. I could say this is Excel examples two, and then I could click on save. Now, very importantly with spreadsheets, you're doing a lot of work and you might forget to save, but really you should save quite regularly, but you can get Excel to do that automatically for you. So if you go into File and go into your options, you can make sure that that is switched on. And if I go here and then down the side here, I choose the Save category and you'll see it's got an option here that's already ticked. Save auto recover information every 10 minutes. You can change the time there. If it's not switched on, you'll see it's grayed out. Just tick it. And you also might want to keep the last autosave version if you close without saving. OK, so that's also if you go to close it, it'll just keep a backed up version anyway if you do forget to save it. This is telling you where you're saving it. All too often, people don't know where it's gone. And so this actually shows you where it's going. The default file location, when you save for the first time a file, it actually prompts you here for this one. So you can actually know that immediately it's going to here and you could change that just by typing that in a different location. You can, for this particular spreadsheet, the one that you've got open, actually tell it you, do, you want to disable it. So if you've got all of this running, it might be one that you don't care about too much or you're not worried about saving it or you're working on it, you're just trying something out, you might want to disable it just by ticking that and that overrides this over here just for that workbook. Okay, all you have to do then is click on OK. So now you've got it set up so that it's automatically backing up and you also now know how to save your document. And if you're used to using Office products, you probably knew how to save it anyway.